everyone I am here with the YouTube pagan challenge for 2017 I'm doing week seven eight and nine so week seven the question was about cleansing and consecrating your tools so I don't always consecrate and cleanse everything but if I get a new tool like if I get a you know a cup I want to use or a wand or a thami or something I definitely will can cleanse and consecrate it um, I sometimes do this with decks not every deck but once I feel especially needed, I'll do this with. And um, usually when I get a new crystal, especially if I want to use it for a specific purpose. So to cleanse it, I'll put it through the four elements. So I'll put it through, you know, incense smokes, put it over fire. Obviously, I don't want to burn it, but just over it a little bit. And then I sprinkle a little bit of water and salt to cleanse. And then I'll put energy in to charge it with whatever energy I'm looking for. Um, if I find that a crystal, uh, like usually to recharge crystals, I just put them in a bowl um, by the window, full moon to recharge it, get the energy. But if it, a crystal feels a bit gunky, I'll put it in some salt or put it in some salt water, depending on what kind it is, or through smudge, um, just to cleanse it and get some of that gunk off of it. Also selenite too, if you put it in your selenite, that also helps as well. Because selenite is self-cleaning and it cleans the other um, crystals around it as well. So I'll do that. Um, as for ritual space, uh, this is my ritual space here. If I'm doing like a full on ritual, but now I don't always feel like I need to do a full on ritual. Um, I might just light a candle here or something. Um, you can really do little things everywhere, but if I'm doing a full on ritual and I'm not like, you know, at a coven sister or friend's house or something, which, you know, we'll do there. This is the spot where I do things. Working with deity um, is the next question. So I don't have a specific deity that I'm dedicated to. Um, some people do, they have one or two that they work with all the time. What I usually do, and I've talked about this before, is I um, have, I'll go through, I have different deity decks and I'll roll a dice to figure out the beginning of the year which deck I need to pull a card from and I'll pull a card from and that is one that the deity I work with each Sabbath and also tells me what I need to focus on for that year. So this year I have Kuan Yin and Compassion. So I'm working with her on the Sabbaths and working on compassion and self-compassion this year. So I'm working with her. And then at the beginning of each lunar month, I do the same thing and I pull out a card and says, this is what you need to work on for this lunar cycle. And that's usually a little bit more actively working. Um, for example, right now I'm working with Hecate um, for this lunar cycle. And so I uh, work with them, you know, new moon, full moon, dark moon, that kind of thing. Um, I'll work, I'll have a specific intention and I'll set the intention during the new moon, full moons about gratitude and, you know, releasing and letting go. And then uh, dark moons about protection and anything, like if there's something you need, like a habit or something you need to change, you can always work with that on that time. And that's a very general way that I work with deity. Um, so I kind of let the universe pick for me what to work with because often it comes up with better things than what I can think of. So um, uh, that's the way I work with it. Um, the next question was about the universe. How do you think the universe began? Where do you think it's going? I honestly don't know. I believe, of course, in, you know, science and the Big Bang Theory and all that kind of stuff. Um, how that happened, I don't know. Um, I believe that the universe is, uh, see, I see deity as imminent and transcendent. So some people like the Abrahamic religions believe in, generally speaking, because everyone's different, a transcendent God that exists above us, that is, you know, watching us and, and telling us, you know, either telling us what to do or judging us for what we do. And I don't believe that. I think the universe is God, spirit, goddess is in everything and everyone and is imminent. Um, it's also transcendent too, but it's, it's like both. It's like this mystery, you know, and it's much bigger than what we could possibly ever, ever comprehend because we are a small part of it and that's okay. And I do believe that there is a plan and I do believe in destiny to a certain degree, but I think it's also fluid. I don't think everything's entirely set in stone. So it's, it's kind of a, a paradox in some ways and it's, it's hard to describe, but that's kind of how I would describe it for sure. Um, but it is a really big subject and it is something that I don't know if any of us can really answer that question. We can say what we believe and feel, but you know, who knows? I, I'm not God of the universe, so I don't know. But it doesn't bother me. It's, I don't worry about it. So that's why I think about those questions. I love watching other people and their thoughts on this. Um, like and subscribe. I'll see you on next.